In the next five minutes, I would like to demonstrate for you the power of combining Citrix virtual desktop infrastructure with NetApp storage virtualization technologies. Citrix Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, or VDI, enables organizations to increase corporate IT control, manageability, and flexibility without increasing cost, all the while providing end users with a familiar desktop experience. VDI environments can be a massive in scale. One of the largest challenges that IT departments must address is the costs associated with moving from inexpensive workstation class storage to centralized data center class storage. In addition, there are operational challenges around the amount of time required to deploy thousands or even tens of thousands of virtual desktops. This is where the power of NetApp storage virtualization technology can play a key role in VDI deployments. The architecture that was used for this demonstration utilizes a NetApp FAS 3070 cluster for primary storage and a FAS 3070 for secondary storage. The infrastructure VMs are running on an IBM Blade Center chassis with six blades running Zen Server Enterprise 4.1. The Citrix VDI platform is supported by Citrix Desktop Delivery Controller version 2.0 and Citrix Provisioning Server 4.5 with Service Pack 1. In the remaining time, we will demonstrate the ability to provision 100 virtual machines by leveraging NetApp's cloning and FAS deduplication technologies. Specifically, we will clone 100 virtual machines, each of which is 20 gig in size, and the cloning will complete in less than 5 minutes and will not consume any additional storage. We begin in the Citrix Zen Center console. As you see, we do not have any virtual desktop machines provisioned. All of the infrastructure VMs are located on Zen Server 3. You can see that we are configured with a NetApp iSCSI storage repository, which is attached to six Zen servers. The NetApp iSCSI storage repository is 567 gigabytes in size and contains three virtual desktop machine images, consuming a total of 20 gigabytes of space. Because we have cloned the base image, you can see that there's more than a 90% storage savings due to the fact that deduplication has been run on the NetApp FlexVault. We will now show how to create a persistent pool of 100 virtual desktop machines based on a Windows XP professional image that has been sysprepped. We have executed a simple script which makes calls to the NetApp FAS system and in turn creates clones of our FlexVault containing our virtual desktop machine images. For now, I would like to point out that we can verify the output of our script by directly viewing the Zen Center console. Upon the completion of the virtual desktop machines being cloned, this process will result in us having a total of 100 virtual machines allocated across five Zen servers. We have utilized NetApp's cloning technology and created 100 persistent virtual desktop machines in less than five minutes. The script will finish by powering on the virtual machines and they are ready to be used by our end users. We will now create 100 non-persistent virtual desktop machines by using Citrix provisioning server and desktop delivery controller infrastructure. We will start by logging into the provisioning server and starting the Zen Desktop Setup tool. We will start by selecting our virtual desktop image that is to be used as our base for our 100 non-persistent virtual desktop machines. You can see that the provisioning server and the desktop delivery controller are working together to create a desktop group called Pool of 100 non-persistent virtual desktop machines. We have now created 100 non-persistent virtual desktop machines in less than 10 minutes utilizing the Citrix VDI infrastructure. We will now create a copy of the Windows XP SP2 sysprepped image in order to show how we can add a new application to all 100 non-persistent virtual desktop machines. We will now start the new base image and install Adobe Reader on the desktop of the base image. 
We can now select one of the non-persistent virtual desktop and see that the Adobe Reader is installed on the desktop. That is the power of VDI on NetApp. At this point, a Citrix VDI admin can simply highlight some virtual machines and start them up and use, end users will be accessing them in minutes. I appreciate your time in watching this demonstration. If your IT department is considering deploying VDI, give NetApp a call. We love to partner with Citrix and your team to implement the technologies we have demonstrated in this video. Thanks again.